F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. How you doing, F double R fams? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R friend request reviews with friend request friends to watch The Sopranos season three, episode four, titled. Employee of the month. <laughs> I always forget this shit, man. But listen, y'all. Before we start anything, man, I just want to thank uh, everybody who joined the Patreon. This is the first recording we're doing after the Patreon's gone up. So we just want to thank everybody that's contributing. Um, just to let y'all know, all the funds that go into the Patreon is going to better the the channel. Um, we haven't set the goal up yet, but we will be setting it up sometime this week. To just let y'all know what, what we're going to do with it. Um, we want to raise $4,000. So me and Formal could get each other some nice little PC. So we both could get to work and bring you as much reactions as we can as soon as we can. So yep. with, with, with that with that goal in mind, I feel like once we achieve that and we do actually get the PCs here, things are going to be running a lot more smoother here on this channel. But yeah, man, thanks thanks for the ones who initially joined. We appreciate y'all. And we're, we're, we're making some changes to make the reaction better for y'all. So go check it out, man. Go check out The Last, uh, Last of Us, uh, the finale for the boys, and a few other ones that got the new changes, how we're going to set it up. You still need a, still need your your copy, obviously, to, to follow along, but you don't have to take your eyes off of our screen to, to, to enjoy the content, all right? So, man... We finally back to the Sopranos, man. How you feel going into this episode, Formal? Feeling good, man. Feel, it feels like it's been a feels like it's been a minute, even though it really hasn't been that long. But it's been, a while. It's, it's been it's, yeah, it's been a, been a little <laughs> more than I'm used to. But I remember um, just a lot of things popping off, especially last episode. Uh, just a lot of uh, sons going through their own little things. Chris was. <laughs> struggling being a made man tony mm -hmm. was going through his drama yep. and then aj most surprisingly freaking passed out just like pops so i'm pretty interested to see how that's gonna work out because i don't think that's something he could hide because he did it right in front of his coach so i'm sure they telling the parents immediately yep so i wonder if like tony gonna try to put him in a therapy like specifically dr melfi or something like how is how are they gonna approach aj passing out like that i'm ready man to be honest, I don't even know if they're going to address that. With that title, Employee of the Month, I don't know how that's going to really fit into to AJ's situation. But, hey, man, we always enjoy the ride here for Sopranos, so we're just going to dive right into this episode. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and also don't forget to subscribe, okay? The goal is 10K. Only way we're going to get this is if you click that button, also click that bell, so you get notified when we go live. Get it. Let's go. How you doing? How y'all doing today, man? It's a blessed day. It's a beautiful day. Nah, I'm sick. <laughs> 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 it's their turn. My turn. Play. Play. All right, man. Starting from the motherfucking top. Pop never told you about right and wrong. <laughs> Looking good. You was popping and locking over there, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I turn my head. I see this nigga like <laughs> pretty smooth with it, huh? All the Yo, that the shit was clean, bro. man. That shit was clean, bro. I was like, what the fuck it was this nigga? <laughs> That nigga adjusted his shirt and popped and locked at the same time. <laughs> like, I was like, I couldn't tell the difference. We <laughs> <sighs> finally back to it, man. Man. John, will you get that? That's the call. AJ Slump in the field. Get your son. <laughs> Hello. Tony, it's me. Oh, wow. God. Thank God he got it. Hang up. Cousin still is not having her prosthetic leg. Oh, still ain't got the leg. Man, they still going through that Fucking shit. Janet. Can you come over here? You're so conceited. What makes you here. think I want to call you? Now I miss you so. Come on, man. 
I know they had a way to block numbers back then, like. You know they did. He probably had to call the fucking phone company, though. You really want to know? He had a real breakthrough last week. Yeah, breakthrough what? Somebody's jaw? <laughs> I'm wasting my time. I'm so fed up with people assuming I'm a thug because my name mm. ends in a vowel. <laughs> Undershirts, yelling. Hollywood tries to give these sociopaths the tragic grandeur of Al Pacino. It really concerns me you don't see this, Jen. I mean, pink slip this guy. Is he good? He's Is dangerous. He I'm gonna pink slip you if you don't get that chicken in the oven. If my mother's dead. That's tough. Yeah. I haven't had a panic attack since. You've gone months without them before. Exactly. The conflicts that caused them and your depression are buried deep inside you. Exactly. It definitely ain't Livia. But she indulges. Okay. Man. Richard was right. From therapy to therapy. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be safe, Jen. It's a basic human need. I know Richard's right. I should get Tony Soprano. Ooh, hello. <laughs> I can't believe I revealed his name. Why did you? You slipping. Does Richard know who he is? It's time to send him on to a behaviorist. What's the dip? What, what, what is a behaviorist? Someone who studies behavior. <laughs> <laughs> She's still in here. She's still looking, looking for the wow, gold mine. Oh man, get this. Get, the, get her off screen, man. Get her off the screen. She gonna answer the door with a smile. Gotta put on the act. I was downstairs cleaning up. Why'd you change the locks? The minute that Ukrainian dye job was out the door. <laughs> in fact, I'm making a documentary. Oh. The World War II generation and their music, exemplified by Ma. Who the fuck are you kidding? You're gonna sell them on the internet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you're gonna exactly sell them on the gonna, internet. That's exactly what you're gonna do. Bye, Janice. You make more money working a real job. Right. Hmm. Like the minute I'm out of here, you're not gonna have contractors downstairs tearing apart the walls. Oh, Janice. Wow. That's what like, she I'm really ready to sell that. this damn house. You feel me? Like, he don't want nothing to do with that shit, man. Janice is wildin' right now. Mm, okay, let's see what's about to happen uh, here. Uh, uh. This is interesting. No, 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 no. He better not, not, not. Jackie Jr. and this hothead together? What's up? You know who's turning to a little mink, though? That metal soprano. Wow. Man, look at him perk up. I've known her since we were kids, for Christ's sake. I know it's tough on you. I'm the guy that's dating your mom. Dating? Don't get fucking filthy about it. <laughs> I'm only here so I don't have to hear her bitching and crying. Damn, he disrespect. <sighs> to the max. Jim, huh? Someone needs to slap this guy over the head. I think he wanted to right there, but he was just like, <laughs> I ain't even about to... I'm about to deal uh -oh. with it. Why do you provoke me, huh? This young buck. He'll fuck your wife until she moans. <laughs> Fucking wop. Mm. You got it, huh? Fuck you, call Called him a You bring my wife into this? His ass ah, for that. Ah. Hey, mister, come on. Hey. Ah. Ah. Get him right. fucking back. Now go. Now you about to get him. You all right, he gets you? Fucking asshole. Pull this prick. In the bread basket. Mm, In the bread basket. <laughs> Yo, my grandfather used to say that shit, man. That's what you get for you. Ripped his pocket, bag. though? Damn. Bro, he for sure ripped his whole pocket. Like, <laughs> he for sure. I've never his... seen that. Yo. Man, ripped the pocket out his pants. <laughs> Right, <laughs> yeah. yo, give me your shit. Yo. <laughs> I'm taking your whole yo. shit with me. <laughs> Ralph, he's another on another level. <laughs> right yeah. We were sitting with Carmine all night long. You never once mentioned you bought a place in Jersey. Well, it's not Carmine's favorite subject. Me living in Jersey. It's what half an hour, forty minutes over the bridge. Well, why didn't you tell me you were moving here? Why? <laughs> I find out second hand. What the fuck do you care? What are you working in the toll booth now? Besides, I already got the condo in Point Pleasant. Maybe you can help me unstick this rain bird. 
I'm a stranger in a strange land out mm-hmm. here. Man, the New Yorkers moving in. Possibly. Possibly. Perfect. It's already a done deal. Perfect. Yeah. You say he ain't want nothing to do with it. So you treat his brother in law to a ride in an ambulance? He said a very bad word. Let me ask you something. Why would you mm. take Jackie's kid? Just called him a sand like monkey. That? Somebody's <laughs> got to show him how the real world works. Kid's got a chip on his shoulder. 23 years old. He's still living at home. So he can keep an eye on a pencil prick that's banging his mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting a friend in over there. It's Captain. What? No. No. <sighs> Fucking Gigi, are you shitting me? I'm sorry. This bullshit with the Arab. I, so I went over the top, but I'll take care of it on a people level. You know this isn't the first thing. Well, then at hmm. least tell the truth, Tone. You want one of your own people over there so he can spy on the Aprile crew? Yeah. But I shouldn't have to. You got some bad tendencies, Ralphie, and I sympathize, because I got them too. I eat dinner at your house. This is business. <laughs> this is business, exactly. Look like we have a new challenger. Don't get fucking filthy about it. Since we last met, I've been thinking about your course of therapy. You're the Damn, doctor. She just be. Killing it yeah. today with the outfits, huh? ready to huh? move on to behavior modification therapy. What's go. that mean? Talk to somebody else? You know you're fucking unbelievable. Mm. Now she about to feel guilty. I'm just introducing the idea. Something <laughs> for you to think about. And then I will in my own good time. Why am I feeling huh? some type of way about this? Oh, facts. I'm the, Anytime they show anything for too long. Like, we had to watch her walk down a whole hallway? Nah. Shut up. Don't turn around. I said shut up. I got a knife. I'll cut you, bitch. Mm. Mm. What the fuck is going on? Shut up. Mm. Oh, shit. This is real. What the hell? This hell is the yeah, wall. this shit real. What the hell you want? This fool said, don't look at my face and brought her in the lighted area. Wow. Oh, he he's to trying rape to rape her? No. Oh, shit. No, no. Oh, yeah, he's... Yep. No way. This is not fucking happening. <laughs> That's fucking wild. That's She's almost crazy. done. We just need a few more swabs. Um... We apprehended somebody with a description out of Popeye's chicken, not far from the scene. Of course, the jerk is denying it, but he had our palm pilot. Hmm, let's go. Got his ass. Who is he? Jesus Rossi. Rossi? Lives over in Elizabeth, 28 years old, no priors. Rossi, it's an Italian name. Am I missing something here? The girl said he was uh, Puerto Rican, that's all. I'm speechless right now. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, I, I don't have any words, bro. I can't believe that just happened. Like, and they, they like actually showed that shit happened. Like, that shit crazy. He's not available to the phone right now. Who may I tell him is calling? I know this she ain't calling. Oh, I was about Nolte. to say. Uh, is this Mrs. Soprano? Uh, yes, it is, Doctor Melfi. Oh. How are you? Actually, that's She's why I'm calling. Everybody I need knows. to cancel Tuesday's appointment. Oh, he'll be so disappointed. Nothing serious, I hope. Huh. A little Only car accident, but I'm fine. Oh, my God. I'll be up in a bout in a couple of days. What? How? You just went through something like... <clears throat> Listen, now. Last time, she mentioned that maybe... Mm, you gonna bring it up. You would come into come. my therapy. Okay, there we go, big boy. I'll give you a perspective on the panic attacks and kind of... Uh, Home life. Whatever. Look at Tony growing up. Come on, Carmella. Come on, be a little bit more enthusiastic. I know you over this shit, but 
I, I, I'm, I can't wait to see who, who they found because I need to know. And then I need to know when Tony going to find out so he can he can handle. Yeah, he that's the big that's the big thing. Is Tony going to find out? Yeah, he need to handle it. She can't be going back to work in a fucking couple of days a week. That should take time. Why not? What's going on? Well, why? I mean, that's absurd. That's ridiculous. Richard, what happened? Mm, they couldn't hold. She's moved over to juvie. She never said anything about that. So you just let him go? Are you fucking crazy? Mm. Yes, I do need to use this kind of language. Obviously, you people haven't heard the end of this. I'm contacting my attorney. You asshole. This is justice. But there's another side of the justice. The Sopranos. Are you sure about that? Give me the phone. I, I want to call them. I just told you everything he told me. Before or after you started cursing at him. Give me the phone. Mm. I want to call them back. Right, you about to get your heart broken twice. Right, let her fucking deal with that shit. I'm sorry. I don't understand what's going on. I don't know what you people did, but I can identify him. I don't know what to say. Hmm. I'm stunned. Yep. That's what he was yeah. trying to... He didn't want you to hear it. They had to let him go because they failed up the chain of custody. Deserted parking garages are where a huge percentage of these attacks happen. You think this mm. is my fault? You blame me for what happened, don't you? Well, how course. many times did I tell you to call the security guard when you left? Oh, my God. Late? Really? It wasn't late. This, man. this isn't doing any good, Jennifer. Mm. Mm -hmm. Jennifer. Damn, come on. Mm. Jen. Yeah, this is a very interesting episode. This is about to get real. I needed to get real. And I needed to get real real quick. Mm. Yeah, Jenny Sack told Gabriella she needed a bigger house. Jenny Sacramoni. What she needs is her own zip code. <laughs> <laughs> Jersey's a small state. She moves in. She could tip it over. <laughs> I like a woman you can grab onto something. You grab onto Jenny <laughs> Sacramoni, your fucking hands will disappear. He said he cool with that. He's so fat she goes camping. The bears have to hide their food. <laughs> <laughs> Two guys can fuck her at the same time and still never meet. Oh, oh no. 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 Yeah. Oh, I don't think I've heard that before. Nothing. We're just talking about one of the girls. Is that all you deadbeats do over here is talk about coos? Well, we're not For playing potatoes. <laughs> Welcome to the Garden State. You want a drink? The destination attraction of the tri-state area and beyond. This fucking bunch of things. He's worth every cent of his cut. Fucking drywall contracts alone. Beautiful portraits. <laughs> Thank you very much. Man, hmm. mob ties. They got contracts. We need a contract on this motherfucker over here. That's what we need. I just want to go find that bastard. Hmm. And kill him with these hands, Jen. And I could. And I would. Hmm. But I can't. Yeah. They put me in jail. That's how messed up things are. Hmm. But you know who can. Some little ass hands. <laughs> Hello. That man got That's some king. small ass paws. He got raccoon hands. They going to the basement. Oh shit! I specifically said, don't let the kid get involved in this thing. Now I gotta hear about some joint on campus, and Jackie's a part of it. He only drove. Oh, shit. I said I was sorry. Look, I promised his old man. What? You promised him what? Come on, don't say nothing. I don't know. It was his best friend. Don't bust my balls. All right. I gotta go make a stop in nothing. All right, that's it. Hug. That was good. That was clean. That was clean. Hug, kiss, get out of here. Nothing. Here. See, nah, this is the reason why you don't go back to work. Look at you, terrified. Nah, she. That's the first thing she did. She said, I'm gonna go conquer these fucking stairway. Nah. All right, this is the this is the part I want to see. Hi. Come on in. Jesus. What's your other guy look like? <laughs> Free. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> Red cap backwards. 
Puerto Definitely. Rican with Definitely an Italian Spanish. last name. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Don't be fucking kidding me. Hmm. <laughs> Feel the fear and do it anyway. That's what she just did. Oh my. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm. It's okay. It's just your. Uh... Mm hmm. Okay. You recognize stuff Sorry. like that, Tony. Sorry. You know that ain't just car PTSD. It startled me, that's all. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been I don't even think I said anything this entire time. <laughs> like this shit is too much. Just let it go, please, Melfi. Just she can't. Let it go. This is the this is the real let this is the go. realest conflict ever so far. Like an innocent person is driving along, minding their own business, and some fucking asshole comes out and smashes into him. <laughs> Could literally use that analogy for exactly what happened. You can't control everything that happens. But you can get pissed off. And then what? Hmm. Lose control? No, Who said anything control. about that? You direct your anger where it belongs. There you go. You have exactly. panic attacks. You told me you were going to go to college. Then I got to hear from Chris the shit. I'm hearing about you. Ah, uh, you didn't talk to Chris. Ah, shit. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Don't make this hard on me, Jackie. I already got one son to bust my balls. I'm home. Hey, Jackie. And a daughter to bust your balls, what are you too. Doing here? Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for you. What, I don't get a hello? I need 200 hours for November to put in my student account. <laughs> you don't talk to me for weeks, but my money's still green. I'm looking forward you to still total races, bro. Believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they still not talking. Mm-hmm. Gonna be like that the whole season? Yes. Don't worry, Tom. I won't say anything about the Moulin. You just remember what we talked about. <laughs> wow. I won't say nothing about the Moulin. <laughs> like, <man. laughs> Chicken avocado wrap, so no dressing. That damn red hat triggered me. I ain't gonna lie, bro. As soon as they showed it, I was like, nah, 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 not again. Is she gonna I don't know how she in there right now. Well, every red hat got me fucked up. She, yeah, she's gonna get triggered. Mm. Oh. It is Employee the red hat of the month. from the fucking Employee Yo, that's of the crazy. Month. That's how it ties this in. shit is crazy. Oh my This might be God. the best episode ever right now. So Bruh, this shit gonna crazy. The whole time I'm like, how does Employee of the Month tie into this fucking episode? <laughs> Brad, the damn red hats, though. I'm just sitting there talking about the red hats trigger. What the hell are you doing, Janice? Oh, she's drinking. I just saw the bottle. She's trying to do the, if you do like a reverb off the wall, it'll bounce off of like the metals in the house. <laughs> <laughs> that actually sounds like a plan she might come up with. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, what the fuck is going on? What the? Fuck? Oh, the Russians! Sh the they Russians! Ah! Excuse me. The yep. Russians! Don't play with the Russians. the Russians! Let go of me! Both want continuation. You give us slag and we go. Yep. What did you say? Motherfucker! Mm. Oh. Damn. Are you people really so callous? Fuck you, you are callous. You really are. God, please. I mean, Man, she deserves a low key. Forearm. She deserves a low key. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Macaroni. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I this guess show that's so racist. Uh, Italian? Italian <laughs> macaroni? <laughs> okay, uh, how far you got to go in it? While she... No, don't do this. Don't show this shit again. Oh shit. Here we go. Don't do this to us. We don't do this to us. We don't need this. And he got the black air forces. I didn't even notice that the first time. The dog is Tony. Yeah, sick him. The dog is Tony Soprano. Get him. Get him. Sick him. I thought the dog was uh 
the rapist. I can't try. And they broke three ribs. Damn, well, they beat you. the shit out of her. I thought he just won forearm slap. I told you not to mess with those people. I was supposed to be married at this point in my life. Yeah, so? The man I love died. Well, <laughs> he didn't die. You killed him. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Hence, <laughs> yeah, he <died>. that, yes. <laughs> what? They slapped my sister over. Mm. Well, I have That's to get facts. payback. Man, it's always yeah. you, isn't it? Every time I hear Every your voice time. on that phone, that shit gonna start some shit, man. That's a whole nother mafia right there. <sighs> yep. And he already got a lot on his plate. Gentlemen, <laughs> what we do in life echoes in eternity. Fucking obsessed with Gladiator. <laughs> I love Gladiator. I love that fucking movie. <laughs> you know, Ball I never really it. watched that movie straight through. Ooh. I've already fallen asleep through that movie. Maybe you got a point. Hmm. You know, I could use some help with a few things, and if they can help me there, you know, I should go there. No. But I still want to see you. Oh, sure about that. no. Will you not tell him? She breaking. What's about to happen? She's Yo, breaking. they about to black screen us. Oh, it's about to, it's about to, what the fuck? She oh, gone. Man. She gone. Let it spill. Spill the beans. I don't Just know. let it go. I don't know. I let don't the know. beans spill. Oh, no. It's the thought of it that's making her cry. Mm hmm. What are you? The thought that she could get somebody touched. God, it's powerful, but woof. It's okay. Go on. She don't want to lose her guard dog. That's what that was. Oh my God, this show is amazing, bro. What? You, you want to say something? No. Fuck it. Oof. Damn it. No, Ooh. that was a perfect Ooh. ending. This shit is oh, no, perfect crazy. Ending. Oh my god, no. This Black shit is screen. crazy. I there we have it. Episode four in the books. Wow, 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 wow. just. When you when you think Sopranos can't take you any further from where you think you're heading, they just they seem to pull it off once again. I did not expect that at all through through this episode. Like I said, that shit was very tough to watch. Um, very he heavy subject, but overall, I think the execution on this episode was damn near perfect. Uh, how about you, Fomo? How, how, what's your thoughts on this episode? This is a 10 out of 10, bro. This episode was <laughs> the best episode ever, So Like, obviously, the subject was heavy, but just the themes, like, just the way they playing with the the relationship between Melfi and Tony, like, because mm -hmm. now, oh, my God, son. Bro, this shit is too good, because they've been, like, her, her, her therapist and then her ex-husband, who she's trying to work it with now, They've mm -hmm. been pushing her, pushing her, pushing her. Like, you know, got got to end it. Like, therapy's over. Like, he's done. He's, he's good. Next next step. And then she has been. He even said, I feel like you've been giving me the boost. So she has been trying to navigate that yep. getting out. But, bro, what happened today? She don't want to let him go. She don't want to lose that guard dog. She sat there and cried about that shit, bro. This might be the best episode ever, bro. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Bro. I mean, <laughs> to, me to be tell honest, you, I I was trying to figure because I think we, I might have hinted on like how she was gonna possibly fall into the to the life somehow, somehow get intertwined. I was thinking, you know, there was gonna be some sexual tension, but this is this is on another level, bro. Hell yeah, sexual tension would have been whack, nigga. Like her just having sexual tension with Tony. That yeah. should have been boring as fuck, bro. This shit right here. Nigga. This right here <coughs> brings it to a whole nother level. Like she can really dig herself a hole 
out of this situation. I mean, listen, I'm completely for it. Let's get Tony. <laughs> Let's get the Rock Roller. Let's get him. Like I'm ready. Let that sh- let that chain go. Let Yo. it go. I'm ready for it because, bro, that shit was horrible. Like that shit was Facts. horrible. Um, Facts. And not only that, to 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 have the the police force or whatever the detectives to drop the ball that bad mm-hmm. to the point where they can't do nothing at all mm-hmm. is crazy. That so. Yeah. Like, that shit, the whole nothing at all shit, yeah, is crazy. Cause yes. now she literally knows where he works. Mm. And even if she were to go and be like, "Yo, here, he employed him under this," oh, uh, uh, we filed up, we fucked up the chain of command, something like what? That's some politics we be talking about when we watch the fucking wire, man. Yep, that's that bullshit right there, man. Oh my god, this damn bro, it's just such a. Cause it just leaves her in such a terrible situation. Cause there's so much conflict to 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 even. Oh, I'm so anxious. <laughs> I, Yo, I this mean, is so this is so season finale level episode, bro. Like, what the fuck? Nah, not for Sopranos. Nah, for the bro. Not this for is Sopranos, some shit that Sopranos. you make a motherfucker a year to wait to see what's next, bro. Cause <laughs> what I dude, ended like that? No, bro, that was a perfect cliffhanger. Yeah, no, that it really was. was. It really was. Uh, I, I think that was probably one of the best cliffhangers they had in the show. Period. Um. Cause we still don't know. Like even though she's saying no right now, we still don't know. Cause she's struggling, bruh. I mean, earlier in the episode, she fucked up and said Tony's name by accident. That's, so she's oh, definitely no. struggling with no, shit. That, like great thing you brought that up, cause that's something that was <clears throat> important. Right. Like I, I can't believe she let that first. She let it slip with the therapist, and then she let it slip with her husband. So, <sighs> man, shit getting sticky. She's Shit slipping, slipping. Shit is slipping, bro. That's... We know it's coming, man. That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm just putting it out there. We know he, she letting that chain go. He gonna, he gonna this go wild. Is, he gonna this rock is wild. Hey. This is the crazy <laughs> shit. I hope they show it though. I hope they show you know. But every second, body, like every second, this fucking in slow motion chopped too, off. Like, like. I hope they, they, they do him dirty. Like bring him to the meat shop. You know what I'm saying? Like. Hit him with the, hit him with the mallets, all that, like everything. I, I want to see it all. So hopefully they get vivid with it. But yeah, I, I know it's coming. She she gonna end up folded, Bad. especially the way she expressed herself to the therapist. Like, oh, I, you know, she finally realized what the rock roller meant, and knowing that she mm-hmm. has the power to let that happen. Yeah, she gonna fall. She gonna she yeah. gonna slip and fall. And all it takes is one moment. One moment of weakness, like one I mean, moment of her that iron will, just one, just one moment of her iron will getting penetrated by the fact that she could get this man touched. She just got to make sure it doesn't happen within that hour that she's in the room with Tony, <laughs> basically, because the way she was with her therapist, if if Tony was around at that moment, I think she would have let it go right then and there. But she, what, man, what um. Mm, 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 Did mm. you catch was the the name the same as the the police officers were saying? Yeah, Jesus R- Rossi, Jesus okay. Rossi. Okay, so like they both were the same. It was the they actually did catch the dude then. Yeah, yeah, okay. they legit had okay. the dude. Fucking so name, they had the right dude. Man, they legit. <laughs> Bruh, that's why. That's why when you said nothing you could do at all, that's why I had to double down on that because even now you got his name his pictures face still nothing like that's insane but yeah the, this episode the bro just the way it was directed as well bro like going to the scene of his employment all the red hats i'm sitting there like oh i'm getting triggered just off the red hats and then bing employee of the fucking month like yo they worked their ass off on this one man and yeah. i can't lie I know it's like bittersweet because I'm juiced about how good the episode was, even though something terrible as a rape happened. Like, that shit was bad, bro. I don't remember any rapes that I watch on TV, if I'm being honest. Like, but like this one right here, like that shit was bad, son. It like, was, like I said, it was, when I say it's hard, it was hard to watch like that, like for real. For yeah. Real. They yeah. never, 
I'm uncomfortable with sex scenes in general, right? Exactly. When you put rape <laughs> into the mix, I'm fucking, I'm like, I'm, I want to check out, like, to be honest. You said I want to check out. I want to check out, especially with this one. This one was, it was too much, to be honest. Yeah, it, it was, was a little too, too much. much. It was a little too much. Like, I remember um, in Hills Have Eyes, I remember that. I was like, man, that shit was bad. This shit right here was terrible, because in Hills Have Eyes, the girl ain't say shit. Fucking Melfi was fighting. Tell him to stop, like, fucking, yeah, that's it. So I do hope he get good. Uh, I hope they let his intentions, intestines fucking hang out while he upside down in a meat rack somewhere in the butcher shop. Like, uh, but it's uh, all down to Melfi. It's all up to her. Is she going to reveal this man's identity to Tony? That's the, that's the number one thing that got to happen for us to get the next step. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. But, um... I'm gonna change the subject because I'm. Yeah, let's go. Because there's other stuff I want to talk about too. Um, Obviously, Jackie and. um, Richie number two. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I know. I knew that's what you. I was gonna let you because I'm like, it's Richie, bro. But it's just like, fuck, we just had a Richie. So is it really Richie? Like, yeah, it's Richie. Wrong. (laughs) Wrong. (laughs) <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, them two, uh, yeah, he's he 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 trying to he trying to bring bring in the son a little bit closer, you know, to 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 draw him in. I'm wondering if he's if he's gonna get caught up in this whole thing because we seen him talking with buddy who just moved in. Um, I'm forgetting names at the moment, but um, I think it's Johnny. John, John, yes, it so, is. Yeah. Um, so obviously, you know, Tony, like he said, uh, he said to Richie. Uh, the reason why I'm putting the captain over there is to keep eyes on y'all because y'all giving me no choice. Mm-hmm. So now he's definitely going to not only have someone watching him, he's going to want to know what these motherfuckers is up to. So I don't know what that's going to bring. Yeah. I can't um, lie. I'm kind of I'm confused, too, because Richie, at least Richie number two. Yeah, Richie number two. He's a lot cooler than Richie number one. At least yes. when Tony, like when Tony used to talk to Richie Number One, giving them the Manson lamps and shit like that, like you always, <laughs> you could always look at Richie Number One and be like, man, he finna go and just do some bullshit anyways. Like Richie Number Two, he seemed like he's slightly more loyal. That's why it's a little bit more like, damn, like what, what is he gonna do? Like, and then the whole fact that Tony doesn't want Jackie Junior doing anything, but Richie's trying to, you know, stepdad of the year, trying to, like that right there is its own conflict. So it's. The family drama, man. It'd be crazy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. Because then and then and then on top of that, this is all on Tony's plate, meanwhile. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then on top of that, he has Janice to deal with. Who's oh just God. just running up running amok. Like she constantly trying to find this hidden treasure. I'm I'm really curious to, to find out if there really is anything in the crib now because of how like confident she is that there's something there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and obviously I'm I'm loving that she got she got what she fucking deserved by the Russians. I'm sorry, <clears throat> I know men should have hit women, but uh, yeah, she deserved a slap for. for she didn't get a slap butt. though, bro. She got she her did. Ass well, she got a to her. Well, nah. I mean, for him, you see how big he is. That now, slap didn't break one. her ribs, bro. She was getting yes, it did. And that's how big he was. He slapped her in the face and this shit. Went down, shock wave through her whole body, busting her ribs open like an X ray in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> that shit nah. was real, nah, nah. But yeah, they fucked her ass up. It's probably because she didn't want to touch. She didn't want to give it up. You feel me? Until, yeah, she probably. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because she's stubborn. She's pretty. She's pretty tough. So I'm pretty sure she held out for a little bit. <laughs> a rib or two. Yeah. I'm worried though because she's all talking about. She know. Going through her cycle, like Tony said, mm. you do this all the time. Vishnu, yep, yep. circle of life, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Salvation. Um, so, I'm kind of curious. Like, he did mention that he has to clap back, but like, does he feel like he has to clap back because he Harder? has to? Like, the, like does he feel like he has to clap back? Um, based on his own pride, or does he feel like he'll only clap back? If Janice like wants him to, because that's what I'm kind of mm. curious. Like since she said like she forgives um Svetlana, 
and all that, like, will Tony still clap back? Because that's a whole nother problem, bro. Like, that's a whole nother mafia. That's the Russians. Like, yep. you know what I'm saying? Like, so, that's a whole, like, if they trying to bring that into the mix, I don't know if they're going to let that fizzle and probably save it for season four or something. Mm-hmm. But I'm just like, damn, because that's, that's going to be a problem. It's going to be a big one. Well, as of right now, it seems like things are pretty much good, I think. Like, you know what I'm saying? I th- the only reason, the only way I can see it getting worse is if, if she actually goes to Slavana's like crib and try to get the records herself, and then ends up mm. doing some bullshit. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm. That's like catching the only another way. body. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I I'm, I don't know if that's the case or you know they're just gonna dead it right here and and she's pretty much you know Janice is just gonna pretty much be walling at the crib doing dumb shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm I'm not sure what, where her story is gonna. You know, head from here. Is she gonna actually go through that cycle of actually trying to, you know, go to God and all that? Or mm-hmm. Is that is that the next progression for for Janice? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Cause mm-hmm. she she caperoni. <laughs> Facts. Um. What else? What else, man? That's, I mean, I'm good. Yeah. They didn't. They didn't show enough of uh, AJ and Metal for me to really touch on them. Like yeah. I said, I, I thought we was gonna see a little bit of AJ's passing out, but like you said, employee the mutt, he ain't touching it, and we didn't. We ain't touch not. They didn't even <laughs> mention it. Yeah. So they, that's what I'm saying. I, that that title was just like, it doesn't sound like anything that we're gonna be dealing with AJ. But you know how Sopranos and, do. They but touch. They they could have a title and still touch on everything. That's like, facts because they like, still could have touched on the AJ shit here, and you know, like the only thing that the title was was, you know, the employee of the fucking month. Mm-hmm. What a slap in the face, man! Man, what a what an God. episode! What, an what episode. A, yeah, what an episode! All right, what man. A slap in the face. So. If you had to score this episode for me, what would you score it? Oh, I'm, I already scored it, man. This, oh, ten, yeah. this is yeah, this is a ten out of ten. I know, this, I know it's a, a great score to give to a bad situation, but just I've been like we both been just kind of curious to just the escalation and and how the progression of Tony and Melfi's relationship was going to be, whether um, they were going to stick it out, whether she was going to get deeper into the light, like how things were going to happen. And this was quite an episode to to somewhat answer that question. So, uh, man, they did a great job with this. Shit. Ten out of ten for me. I'm gonna give it a nine five, and the only reason I deduct points is because I just feel like that scene was a little too graphic. Um, I think they just need to tone it down just a little bit, man. Y'all need to tone it down with these sex scenes, man. This shit is very uncomfortable. I'm not cool with it. Especially that's what we one. need. That's nah. the scene we need. I, no, that's I just, feel you, that's but the they so cut. When, so when women talk about rape, uh, we don't. We can't sit there and be like, "Motherfucker, that shit ain't that bad." If we feeling like this off of fake actors that never even... Well, I ain't gonna say never. I don't know what the real life is like, but yeah, that ain't really good. Man. I feel you, but they could have cut. Oof. A section of that, and then just had it to where he stood up. You know what I'm saying? Dip. Like, yeah, no, nah, it was it was you rough. You feel me? Like it, it was yeah. rough. That shit was rough. Yeah. So um, nine five for me. That's a ten. Perfect ten for your boy over there, man. Listen, Sopranos just keeps getting better and better. And with this cliffhanger we have here with Melfi, possibly giving Tony that uh, grant you know grant him permission to, to let loose. I'm hoping that's the case. Hopefully it comes sooner than later. Cause like I said, uh I, I wanna see justice and hopefully we get it. So man, if you still here rocking with us this long, man, we appreciate each and every single one of y'all, man. Don't forget, man, if you haven't already, like the video, comment down below, let us know what you thought of this incredible episode. And most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube. The goal is ten K. And yes, check sir. us out on Patreon. We got the full reactions. So make sure you check us out. FWR is out. Peace.